Spelling is a great addition to every homeschool curriculum. And so today I wanted to give you an example of what my fifth grade spelling looks like. So I do use Google Classroom. And so here is an example. We have, we begin with the welcome module. The welcome module is what the parent and student work on together. And in the welcome module, we're going to learn how to upload work to Google Classroom. You're going to look over a sample supply list. There's your how to upload work and the supply list. It's a basic supply list. How to make note cards, your class goals, some tips on how to write spelling words. Students may enjoy writing their words with their finger and shaving cream or using a dry erase marker. So a lot of different tips are provided along the way. Students have a Quizlet practice link and then an also a quizzy assessment link. Each week, students will have a spelling list, and this spelling list will show between 9 and 12 spelling words each week. These spelling words are on Quizlet, and so this is a teacher-created Quizlet page. Here's just an example, and you can see the link at the top where students would go to practice, but they can also print out the PDF if they prefer. So here is the weekly format. So you can see we have tasks one, two, three, four, and five. That's for each week. And if you homeschool Monday through Wednesday, for example, your goal would just be to finish all of the tasks before the week is over. But again, it's self-paced, so you just work around your schedule. So for task one, this is when students would log in for the week and they're going to see their new spelling list. At this time, they could be practicing spelling those words with a parent or saying them out loud. This is the day that they log in just to see what their spelling list is. For task two, this is when they're going to write their spelling words. And so they're going to write the spelling words three times. They're encouraged to write it in, in three different colors. And they would upload an image to show it's completed. Task three, use it. So you're going to use the spelling words in a sentence. You can create a video um, where you are verbally saying those sentences, reading those sentences off to me if you like. But if you don't feel comfortable making a video, that's okay. You can upload a picture of the sentences that you created instead, or maybe you typed them out. All of those methods work. For task four, you're going to listen to it. And so at this time, you would go to the Quizlet class page. You're going to put on your headphones and you're going to click each word so that you hear the correct pronunciation of the word. And while you're there on Quizlet, you may want to check out some of the other options that Quizlet has. They have a lot of fun gaming type practice. So here on the Quizlet page, you can see all 18 weeks are there for you. You would scroll down to week one. And as you scroll down to the bottom, you're going to see all of the terms. And then you can click and hear the audio for each term and see the definition. While you're on this Quizlet page, you're going to see a lot of different options for students. And these are free options. You do not have to pay for Quizlet. You have matching, blast, that's a new one, or games. It has a blast the words out and you try to spell them correctly. They have learn, they have the test option and flashcards. So Quizlet does have a free version. Students are welcome to use that. And then they have a paid version if you want to, but you do not have to use that. 
So for our task five, so we've just completed task four, we're going to go to test it. So I use Quizzy for test it. And I use Quizzy for a few different reasons. This allows the student to take a test in a gaming type format. Students really enjoy that. So they log in and they're going to be provided um, various uh, multiple choice questions. And it could be, what is the definition? So it's helping them with the vocabulary, but then also there's some questions where, which one is correct? So they're gonna show two a spelling word that's spelled two different ways and just checking their knowledge of the spelling. Quizzy is great because it allows students to take tests multiple times. If they're not happy with the grade, that's okay. They can take it again tomorrow. Also, Quizzy provides self-grading. So at the very end of the test, it will provide an immediate grade for the student to record in their spiral notebook. All right, let me know if you have any questions. That's just an example of a fifth grade spelling class, but I do have spelling for all grade levels. And so let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.